Hey guys, welcome to Pandas Data Diaries. Uh, today we have an episode focusing a little bit on data profiling. Imagine your colleagues from the business department are reaching out to you and ask you to um, run an analysis on a given data set or write some of the data into a data warehouse um, to do some visualization. The first thing you should do is to profile the data and make sure that it's in a good state and the data quality is high enough to run the requested analysis. Okay, so the first thing that you really want to check out is the missing values in the data set. So you get an idea um, how complete the data set is uh, from the beginning. Then um, you want to check out the unique values inside the data set and their frequency. And also um, you want to understand the range of the data, like um, focusing on some max values, uh, min values, and averages for a certain column. So basically, um, these are the ones that you should focus on on a bare minimum analysis. Since we're not using pandas today, I'm setting up a demo database uh, just using SQLite and loading the data frame into it. So let me do this by importing SQLite 3 and then establishing a connection, I'm just saying SQLite3.connect. And um, in here, I can just set up um, a memory uh, database, like in-memory database, like this. I think that was the syntax. Um, saving that, that worked. And here, I'm going to write the test table that I've loaded above into SQL. And I will just um, give it a name in there as well. Let's call it test test uh, table and using the connection that I just set up, which is a connection. Let me just check if that's working. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let me first run a test query to see if the setup is working. So um, pd read SQL and in here I'll just put the most generic query. Select star from the test uh, test table and give it the connection. To see this is a test table just containing some mock-up data for different products, uh, product names, their manufacturers and the manufacturer rating. For the data profiling, I want to focus on the column manufacturer first. So let's um, do this. I'm going down here and opening a new cell. So um, the first thing I want to check is for missing values. So writing it up here again, missing values. And how would I do this in SQL? So first of all, let me just create a variable and I'm gonna write down the query in here, which could be, so I wanna know the um, count basically. So it's a count star of all rows. And I want to check um, from, uh, from test table. And there, where the column manufacturer is null, meaning uh, no value, or manufacturer. Uh, equals empty string. So with this, um, to run this, I have to copy it into this statement here. So let's just copy paste. And instead of the query, I just copy paste the variable name in here and we'll run the query. So you see, we do have a count of 102 missing values. And above we saw here that we have 444 rows. So quite some missing values in the data set. That's the first test that you can run for sure and it tells you already that the data might not be of the highest quality here, or maybe there are reasons uh, for these values to be missing, but um, at least this is the first indicator. Okay. Then the second um, thing you want to check is for unique values. 
and for their um, frequency. How do you do this? So let's again write up the query. So here I want to check uh, select manufacturer, same column, manufacturer. And um, just indenting here, uh, just as a tip um, regarding the syntax, what I always do with a SQL is to put the comma at the beginning of the next row in the select statement so that I just don't forget it um, at the end. It often happens if you have long select statements that you forget about the, the commas. So just put it in the beginning. And here I want to get the count again as let's say unique uh, unique value frequency and then below that I want to get the count um, times 100 and make it a decimal by adding the dot zero divided by and here I'm using a subquery now Select count star from test table to get the percentage. And I will also call it percentage behind it. And since this was a sub, uh, sub query, I need to follow up with the real from statement of the main query. So from test table. And to order it and uh, group it, I need to follow up with a group by statement. So we group by um, manufacturer and order by, let's say, um, the percentage and this uh, descending. Let's see if that should work. If I didn't make a mistake. So again, copy pasting here to run the statement. Put in the unique values like this. And let's see if that worked. And it did work right away. Great. So here we get a list now. We see that the most frequent um, unique value is a non, so it's like a non existing value, um, which is probably a bad thing. And then below that, we have um, the unique frequency, value frequency here shown as an integer for each uh, test company and we have the percentage of the total. So this is um, always interesting to look at what is the distribution of these unique values? Are there a lot of unique values? What can I learn about this, about this column? And then I'm um, taking a look at the last thing that you want to check in the really basic um, analysis is um, taking a look at the range of the data. Looking again, um, mention it here, the range. Let's turn this into a cold cell range uh, mainly the max, uh, the min, and the average of the column. And for this one, uh, actually checking another column because um, we had a string, uh, string values in the manufacturer column. But for this, I want to focus on the manufacturer rating to get some numeric values and see if there are some outliers or things like that. So I'm um, writing up the query again. Um, let's say range, uh, range check. And here we can put in, basically this would be the select again, min of manufacturer rating. We get the max of manufacturer rating. And we get the average manufacturer rating from the test table. Okay, again, copy pasting to save some typing here and executing the query, which is the range check. And here we're seeing the result set. So in a real life scenario, you probably have some information about the allowed 
ratings um, for these manufacturers. Like one would be the lowest allowed rating and 10 the highest allowed rating. And if you see something like this, um, then you know that a rating of two, min rating of two is allowed, so that makes sense. But a max rating of 999 uh, would be outside of the scope of the allowed ratings. So we have an outlier in here, and this might either be an error or might have another meaning that you would have to research. So if you see something like this, um, then you know that you have to uh, do some further analysis. If you're getting an average rating of 77 for this column, um, you already know that there's something um, wrong with the data. Could be related to the max value being an outlier, which is dragging the whole distribution, or it could be that there's just something generally um, weird and you would just have to take further steps to take a closer look. But um, by running these three types of analyses, um, you already have a first good impression of the data set and of its quality and um, yeah, can take further steps from there. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.